Here's a graph we've previously created showing the velocity of a car in meters per second on the vertical axis as a function of time in seconds on the horizontal axis. And what we're going to do is we're going to put on what uh, Excel calls a trend line or what uh, we might also call a best fit line or a linear fit. That is, a straight line on the graph that best represents the actual data. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on one of the data points and that selects the entire set of data points and uh, on the context menu that that pops up add trend line. Click on that and here are the options for the trend line and um, we're going to do linear, which is another way of saying a straight line. There are other options for, for more sophisticated curved lines where you could fit logarithmic curves, exponential curves, polynomials, and whatnot. But here we're just putting in a straight line. And we click linear. We have some other options down here. We can force it to uh, cross the origin by clicking here. I'm not going to do that but I am going to go ahead and display the equation on the chart. And there's our best fit line. Now, the equation that it puts on the chart uh, is of the form, the classic line equation that you know from math class, y equals mx plus b, where here Excel is using y for the vertical axis. Now keep in mind that this is real data and the vertical axis here is not y, it's velocity. And the horizontal axis is not really x, like you use in math class, it's t for time. Nonetheless, the horizontal axis Excel will call x, and the vertical axis, whether it's velocity or whatever it is you're graphing, the vertical axis Excel is calling y. So here, our slope is 0.4863, what uh, is often called m in math class, y equals mx plus b, and b here is the intercept 0 0.0276. Excel doesn't know anything about the units. That 0 0.0276 is 0 0.0276 meters per second. That's where it's crossing the meter per second axis, the velocity axis. And that 0.4863, again, Excel doesn't know about units or what any of this represents, but what that represents is the acceleration, the acceleration of the car. It is gaining 0.4863 meters per second in velocity for every second uh, that time passes. So that's the meaning of the linear fit for this set of data. Notice that the data points do not fit perfectly to it. Real data will never really perfectly fit a line, but this is the best fit line that represents the trend of the data.